here at Port Mayaca, we're seeing lots of blue-green algae. It's green, it's gross, and the fear is that it will trickle into the St. Lucie River, and that's crippled businesses before. At South River Outfitters in Stewart. Ed Stout picks up a kayak he hopes will sell. After all, it's all his business now survives on. We do not rent anymore, but we have just um, decided to discontinue that from our business because of the algae. Ed says rentals once accounted for half his revenue. But thanks to blue-green algae, it's no longer profitable. Seems like every year in the summertime we're having to discontinue use of the river and monetarily and where his business and it just doesn't pay to be able to use a river for half the year. Thankfully, his kayak sales have kept him afloat, but even that could change. South Florida water management shows 85 to 90 percent of the lake is now covered in blooms. It's very, very concerning that we're already into this and it's just the beginning of June. Mark Perry says with triple digit temperatures already. So this blue green algae microcystis is going to bloom and grow. The Army Corps of Engineers isn't releasing any of that water into the St. Lucie River, but with the lake two feet higher than it should be this time of year, the Corps says that could change, algae or not. Those releases would bring all that fresh water right here to this system. Not good, not good. And hoping if it does change, the other half of his business can survive this too. I have a pretty good faith that we'll still be here. It will affect my business, but we're ready for it. On Friday, Colonel Booth with the Army Corps of Engineers told me he doesn't know at this point how significant or how frequent those discharges could be if they have to start lowering the lake. But what he did tell me is that the Herbert Hoover Dyke is helping. It holds more water now that it's strengthened, leading to less frequent discharges. At Port Mayaga, Kate Hussey, WPTV News Channel 5.